Yes, ma'am. Okay, so introduce yourself. And my name is Abhimanyu and I am from Fatehabad, Haryana. And I have done my schooling from Fatehabad only. And I have done my B.Tech in civil engineering from MNIT, Jaipur. And after that, I have completed my M.Tech in geoinformatics. And now I am currently working in Disha, Haryana as a drone pilot. Okay, okay. Uh, so, Abhimanyu, uh, when did you complete your B.Tech? In 2020, ma'am. 2020 and your yes. MTech? You've done your MTech this year? In year December 2022. 2022. So uh, you have been working since one year? In April, from April I'm working, ma'am. From April, yes, you started working. Okay. Yes. So, and uh, like, what is your profile? Like, what do you do over there? Earlier I was a GS technician and now I am a drone pilot. Okay. So, uh, Okay, so uh, just give me a moment. Okay, so Abhimanyu, you just introduce yourself. Why? Uh, so why are you applying for this job? Why a government sector? Um, government sector is always preferable because still I am in a contractual job and I don't want to work in a private sector. Firstly, due to their job timings and also for government sector, I want so that I can work for my country and to serve. Okay, that you can do in private sector also. Mostly government uh, companies are also being privatized. Mostly government companies are privatized, but uh, being as a government employee, I can connect with the people and I can be work at a grassroots levels. Like uh, this post is, is Panjati Raj in development. So I'll be connecting to the people at the grassroots level and helping them out. Okay. And how do you think you're suitable for this job? Yes, ma'am. How do you think you're suitable for this job? As far as I am concerned, I belong to a village area and I know the grassroots reality as a from village area and I also have certain ideas, certain problems which are which come from the serpent uh, faces and they do like intent process and all so I can use my that experience and knowledge to work in that sector and area to improve and the system. Okay. Uh, so, what are the duties of a sub-divisional engineer? First of all, the sub-divisional engineer is uh, work under the executive engineer and uh, junior engineer is subordinate to SD and uh, the work of sub-divisional engineer to carry out and oversee the work of uh, junior engineer and also the implementation of the tender process and whatever work has been done. The Process has been done through the SD, the tender allotment and uh, bidding process and all. And the work uh, payment also is made by the SD only. Okay. Who is the CM of Arena? Manor Lal Kattu. Okay. And what is Haryana famous for? Haryana? Haryana is famous for what? Famous Q hai Haryana? Is cheese kill famous? Ajana is famous in is uh, Ajana is doing good in agriculture. Like it is also said that the Dude Deika Khana Mira Pradesh Ajana. So for that also Ajana is famous. Okay. Okay. So Abhimanyu, let me just tell you that uh, first of all, your introduction. Thoda sa na, aapko casual, uh, apna attitude chhod ke thoda sa professionally bolna padega chizo. ठीक है. Uh, और sentence ko pura karna hai jab aapne bolna hai. ठीक है. Proper okay. sentences mein bolna hai. Aadhe aadhe sentences mein nahi bolni hai chizo. ठीक है. So uh, sabse first first is uh, you you said you have done your B Tech. Okay. Uh, from whatever whatever. Okay. Then M Tech. Okay. Uh, so, M Tech, because you have work experience, you have to tell me about it. You have to tell me about it. 
कर क्या रहे हो थोड़ा सा एक दो लाइन और बता दो उसके बारे में या फिर आप लाइक एम टेक का प्रोजेक्ट भी आप अगर बताना चाहो तो एम टेक का प्रोजेक्ट भी बता सकते हो बिकॉज यू नीड द देम टू लाइक कुछ आपको लीड तो उनको देनी पड़ेगी ना किस चीज से आप क्वेश्चन पूछे वो आपसे ठीक है तो आप वट प्रोजेक्ट है I have done regarding studying of urban growth of Panipat district. Urban growth of Panipat. Okay. Okay. So in that, uh, whatever models you used, whatever that was just. Cup ki hai apne twenty. You've done it in twenty twenty. December twenty twenty two, ma'am. I got passed. Twenty twenty two. So co. It was during COVID. Yes, ma'am. So all of your study is uh, like uh, computer based or something? No, ma'am. One and a half year was uh, online. Uh, that the uh, project I have went to my college. It was offline. Okay, in the college. Right. Okay. Fine. In twenty twenty two. Okay, fine. So you can say all that. Are you have not done any cultural or sports activities or event organization so that um overall development uh ka pata lage ki you are you are uh like an all rounder type of a guy. Ma'am, I have done like I was vice president of Eco Club. Been I has volunteered also, and uh, I have I am a good academician. Like I have get uh, I have all in year and thirty seven in uh, get. Ah, uh, so these achievements you can say afterwards also, like after uh, after B Tech, you you can say that uh, I uh, I gave my get uh, uh, exam and I held the rank of uh, uh, through that only you got M Tech. No, ma'am. During M Tech, because uh, gate I have cleared three times. So first uh, during M Tech, uh, before I cleared gate, so I got a uh, scholarship uh, like uh, for M Tech. So I got twenty twelve thousand four hundred rupees. After that, I again apply. I again give gate and I got thirty seven rank, but in different uh, subject like uh, remote sensing and GIS. And earlier I was in civil engineering. I gave it. So you can say I have qualified gate twice. Once, uh, once in my uh, subject, and 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 I also held. Uh, you can. It is not necessary to mention that in which subjects are already you are civil engineer. So you, mostly it is in remote sensing only the second uh, gate like, exam. Uh, I can tell uh, you. Uh, I can tell you my resume. So accordingly, you can suggest. Me. Okay. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Here only I'm discussing with you. No, so here you can say that. See, we don't have to tell everything in detail. हमें थोड़ा सा short करके ही बताना होता है. हमें थोड़ा short करके ही बताना होता है. तो इसलिए आप सिर्फ उसमें दो line आप add कर सकते हो कि आपने gate twice qualify किया है और and once you you held the rank of and in one exam you held the rank held thirty seventh you were held the position of thirty seventh rank in in India or what? All India rank man. All India rank. Huh. So uh, your your All India rank was the thirty seven in one of the exams. Yes. Okay. So you can say that that my All India rank was uh thirty seven um in uh one uh, in one of the gate exam. Okay. That is what. Okay. So ye ye do line hai. You can add kar sakte ho. After you say that I have done my M Tech and and my project was this. Uh, I I uh, gave gate twice and I cleared gate twice and I held um thirty seven uh, All India rank of thirty seven. स्कूल Environment club, okay. Yes, so you can just say that uh, uh, in your school, in your B Tech. No, no school, school in twelfth class. Okay, okay. No, so uh, okay at that time. So you did something in over in environment club, like some uh, something some activities which you organized or something like that. Ma'am, uh, poster making competition and means plantation all the was done. नहीं तो फिर ये ये सब मत बोलो ठीक है school time का वैसे भी अगर कुछ award होता है ना तब हम बोलते हैं otherwise हम लोग B Tech और M Tech का ही ज़्यादा बोलते हैं. Award अगर आपने जैसे tenth class में मैंने C G P A tenth C G P A था तो मेरे को उसके लिए मतलब scholarship मिला था फिर B Tech में मैंने M R C nineteen eighty four batch की scholarship भी मेरे को मिली थी gate की भी apprenticeship मेरे को मिली है madam. और अभी भी जहाँ पे मैंने अब टेक किया है उसमें भी मेरिट स्कॉलरशिप मेरे को मिली है 
तो आप ये बोल सकते हो कि आई हैव स्कॉलरशिप थ्रू आउट माय करियर थ्रू आउट माय एकेडमिक करियर ठीक है क्योंकि आपको पूरा मिले तो अलग अलग मेंशन करने की जरूरत नहीं है तो तो थ्रू आउट माय एकेडमिक करियर आई हैव गॉट स्कॉलरशिप फॉर माय लाइक एकेडमिक एकेडमिक स्कॉलरशिप ठीक है उसी आपको उसी के कुछ पढ़ाई की उससे ही मिली है ना स्कॉलरशिप स्पोर्ट्स की थोड़ी मिली है हाँ तो अकेडमिक स्कॉलरशिप आई हैव थ्रू आउट माई अकेडमिक करियर आई हैव गॉट अकेडमिक स्कॉलरशिप आई हैव अर्न अकेडमिक स्कॉलरशिप और आई हैव बैग अकेडमिक स्कॉलरशिप कुछ भी ऐसा बोल सकते हैं ठीक है तो समथिंग लाइक सो ये एक दो चीजें आप अचीवमेंट्स की ऐड कर सकते हो अपने उसमें इंट्रोडक्शन में राइट ओके तो आपके सूटेबिलिटी पे आ जाते हैं सूटेबिलिटी में आपने बोला था कि कि मतलब आप विलेज से हो और ये चीजें वो ठीक है मतलब आपको सबसे पहले अपना ये बताना है कि टेक्निकली यू आर सूटेबल बिकॉज यू हैव डन यूर बी टेक एंड एम टेक इन इन दिस फील्ड ओके इन द फील्ड रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन uh then you are hard working or whatever traits you have personal traits you have although and then you can also add since i am from village uh, i i am aware of the uh, difficulties over there and so i can perform well okay theek hai to ye cheez aap ek line end mein add kar sakte ho saath mein okay ma'am okay theek hai uh aur uske usse pehle humne ek aur question pucha tha ki aap kyun join karna chahte hain theek hai okay तो ये क्यों ज्वाइन ये आपको पीएसयू और प्राइवेट सेक्टर दिस इज अ मतलब आपको ये आपके माइंड में क्लियर होना चाहिए कि प्राइवेट सेक्टर के पब्लिक सेक्टर के आप उसमें प्लस पॉइंट्स गिना सकते हो ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है प्राइवेट सेक्टर में आपको क्योंकि अब देखिए ये बहुत बड़ा एक इशू है और ये हमेशा मोस्टली इंटरव्यूज में पूछा जाता है कि पब्लिक सेक्टर में क्यों आ रहे ठीक है तो ये चीजें आपको करनी जरूरी है कि पब्लिक सेक्टर प्राइवेट सेक्टर में फर्क क्या है ठीक है और क्यों आना चाहते हो बेसिकली प्राइवेट सेक्टर में तो आपके पास पैसा बहुत आता है ना फिर अगर आप आगे चले जाओ तो ठीक है तो आप पब्लिक सेक्टर ही क्यों ज्वाइन करना चाहते हो ठीक है आपने ये बोल दिया कि मैं विलेज में अपना डायरेक्टली लोगों से इंटरेक्ट करना चाहता हूँ वहां पे ठीक है देन पब्लिक सेक्टर की प्लस पॉइंट क्या है ये आपको बोलने हैं तो इसका आंसर आप तैयार करेंगे ठीक है उसके प्लस पॉइंट बोलने हैं आपने नेगेटिव नहीं बोलना हमने प्राइवेट सेक्टर के बारे में प्लस पॉइंट ऑफ पब्लिक सेक्टर उसके बाद तो थोड़ा ठीक था कि हाँ रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज में देखिए रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज में आपने यही बोला जो एग्जेक्टिव है बेसिकली आप जॉट डाउन तो करो कि क्या रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज होंगी ये नहीं कि आपने उनकी रिपोर्ट ली और उनकी रिपोर्ट लिया आपने उन दोनों का बता दिया कि जो वो काम करते हैं हम वो काम करें बेसिकली क्या मेंटेनेंस में करना है ये करना है मतलब जो चीजें आपको करनी है ना वहाँ पे आप उसकी वो कराएंगे वो चीजें आप जॉट डाउन करोगे आप काम क्या क्या करोगे आपको क्या क्या रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज दी जाएंगी वहाँ पे क्योंकि जिस काम के लिए आप कुछ आप जा रहे हो आपको पता होना चाहिए ना कि किस काम के लिए जा रहे हो आप ठीक है सो जॉट डाउन दी ठीक है ये ये थोड़ी सी चीजें प्रिपेयर करो एंड देन ओके